Hi everyone, welcome back to another For Those Who Code video. This channel is where we learn and share skills about design and development. If you want to grow your skills and learn new things that's coming up, please like, share and subscribe for more. In this video, we'll learn about implementation of user onboarding with intro.js, which is a tiny library which helps us to create dead simple user onboarding to our products. If you guys don't know what is user onboarding, I have also added an article where you can learn about user onboarding and its essence in improving the user experience of a product down below in the description. Basically, user onboarding is a system of actively guiding users to find new value in your product. I have made a quick mock UI on what we are going to build. Let's take a quick look at the prototype here. So these are the, uh, the screens that I've created. If we go and look at the prototype, then we have something like this, which is basically the representation of the onboarding the users. If I click on next, then the arrow that are uh, highlighted here goes to the next where we want to uh, basically uh, focus on a kind of uh, UI where uh, we want to educate the users about what they get from that particular area of UI right there. So I have next and back. I can go to back, but let's go to next. And uh, we also have added some progress bars right here and also a next button. So if I click on next, then we have everything uh, ready. And if we go and uh, log in, uh, then we have this bubble right here. If we tap on it, then it creates a tooltip kind of thing. And uh, here you can get all the varieties of coffee. So we can search for a coffee right here. Okay, the users uh, get uh, educated with it and knows how to use the product. So here is all our notifications. Okay, I got it. And here is the place where you can have a chat. Okay, I got it. So uh, this is basically kind of like informing the users and um, onboarding the users behind the scene I've already uh, bootstrapped and created here I have also added some of the uh, scripts needed which is completely blank right now so I have also uh, added some styles if that's needed as well and also some of the login that's needed as well so uh, our interface of login looks something like this one so we'll go ahead and add uh, the blocks of uh, the onboarding thing to into our um, brand uh, image and then the subscriber um, switches right here so for that one we'll go to intro.js and um, go to documentation so you can also get started with bower or npm but i have used uh, cdn or just delivery for now so uh, if we take a quick start then um, it's see that we have the area attribute uh, inside our HTML, which helps us to uh, get started with intro.js it can be invoked with dot start method so uh, intro.js dot start so let's go ahead and create our login screen for that one i have already prepared the HTML part over here and also imported uh, the styles it needed with, for, with bootstrap uh, version 5 then we have um, uh, intro mean.css and also our style set right here also imported uh, our bootstrap bundle along with the intro mean.js and then our login.js uh, right here so uh, inside our uh, login.js we will write some uh, scripts with the help of this documentation so first of all we want uh, to add even listener uh, with the DOM content loaded. Uh, we have our um, another uh, method that we want to use, which is let me check. So basically, we will be using JSON configuration right here. So uh, some kind of like this one, but we will um, have our element selected, which is document .query selector and select our element and whatever message that we want to give to that element as well. So we will follow um, along with the JSON configuration um, kind of thing. So uh, you can also check out uh, and run this snippet right here. And um, we will have intro.js and then key value pairs like this one. So we have the title and the intro. So for first one, I want to um, select an element, which is uh, inside our login, I want to select this particular thing right here, which is the logo. 
thing that we want to pass in is title intro and also uh, furthermore we can also pass down the position of um, uh, these uh, thing right here if we hit on run we click on next and uh, we can also pass down the position uh, so that we have this position on the top but uh, we have this portion in the bottom so um, you can also find um, these things uh, around tooltip positions where we have the positions right and positions left bottom and top as well everything looks fine uh, this is how it's dead simple and obviously we want uh, to um, like uh, start our animation uh, or let's say start our onboarding right away so for that one we will also make the use of um, on save and then I'm also using a live server so you can go to extension and type in that you can install it via this one and just head on to whatever uh, .html you have and click on uh, right click or control click and you have open live server right here and if we take a look request we don't see anything that's because we have already imported so as you can see here that we have successfully added our tooltip which is position on the top which has the title and the intro message and the element that we want to select is the lower brand so which is this one and if we click on done we don't have any other uh, onboarding UI that's created we have the query selector for which is the switches that we already talked about and then we have um, So uh, it's a student subscribe now and then we can add um, its position on the right and then just click on next it goes to this place where we have our final step and we can hit, hit on close and close all the onboarding uh, that we have or so continue with it and close so basically we have achieved some kind of um, thing that we have planned which is this one but the thing that's needed is to add a progress bar go and inside our documentation and search for and then we have uh, so progress is true so we will also add so progress true save and then if we take a look at our UI right here uh, it's kind of like uh, staying at the top because we have added this top if and this is inside our uh, on our right so uh, next so I will just click on this one and move to our index page where we have already like uh, prepared the UI that's needed now we will go ahead and create some uh, these bubbles right here that we can see which is really that simple to implement so um, before moving on to that one I want to add furthermore uh, on exit method on before before exit so uh, basically what this does is if uh, we are exiting uh, the user onboarding it helps us to invoke some kind of function that we want to invoke so we'll also add the confirmation of exit so for that one here uh, we have already completed the onboarding we don't save and next we also have the progress bar working and done and here we have our um, confirmation dialog which is invoked after the onboarding process has been completed so you can also trigger any functions that you need inside um, this callback function so basically this is how we can animate our login so let's move ahead and go to our index.html 
so basically we we want to do is add some uh, ripples kind of effect which is provided by intro.js as well and it's dead simple to implement or maybe just hint for now and just hit on run then you can see that uh, we have the bubbles kind of thing which is got it and then got it so basically we will be using um, this particular thing called hint and um, this can be activated with the simple HTML attribute which is data hint and simply we can add those inside our you know HTML attribute like this one so data hint and data hint position so uh, these can be added to our HTML elements right here so let's go ahead and add those inside our index.html basically I've already added um, the HTML attributes that's needed so here is our data hint and here you can search our variety of coffee which is bottom middle uh, this is generally the position of uh, those uh, bubbles uh, uh, kind of that we just saw which is uh, this one I think it needs a refresh but anyway which is some kind of like this one so um, we have one in the search bar one in the notification and one in the chat section right here so I have added uh, those attributes to all the sections that we need which is also in our chat section right here as well add some scripts to uh, get this uh, library working and if we go and see the hints we have the another method that need to be changed which is add hints we just go ahead and see the UI then you can see the bubbles thing right there and if we click on this one here you can get the, all the variety of coffee got it and then here you can find your notification in the nav bar right here got it and then here you can reach out for support in the chat area got it alright so basically this is it how you can create a dead simple um, user onboarding with intro.js which is an awesome and really simple library to implement so thank you guys in this video we understood and uh, we went through intro.js on making on our uh, simple onboarding process easily uh, I know uh, this will be a great help for you in your pro upcoming projects ahead uh, thank you so much for watching my videos if you guys want to learn about design and development more please like share and subscribe with a click down below I'll be trying to make more better videos. See you in the next one.